Hi, Steve. Hey, when I talked to Nick Young at the end of the game, he said the Warriors are a second half team, and he was talking about the, the really impressive runs in the third quarter to, to bury opponents lately. Are you okay with the notion that the Warriors are a second half team if it results in wins? I'd like to be a first half team too. And that's the next step, but um, it does seem like um, you know teams come after us early. Um, you know, everybody wants to to knock us knock us down, and so they come out with a ton of energy. They overplay things, and I think we're pretty careless with the ball. Uh, second straight game where we had a ton of first half turnovers, uh, and then it seems like things settle down, but. Um, yeah, I mean, I, we want to put it together, obviously, for, for four quarters. But right now, it seems like we're just uh, kind of treading water for a while and then getting going in the second half. You won it in the third, but that 6-0 run right to close the half, did that kind of blast you off a little bit? Yeah, that was that was important. Um, you know, it's always good to go into the half with a little momentum. And uh, we didn't play well, obviously, the first half. But uh, that gave us a little springboard. And then, um, for whatever reason, the third quarters have been good to us lately. We, we, I think we get more focused um, in the third quarters where, um, you know, we've, as we talked about, we've been turning it over quite a bit um, first half, but uh, third quarters, we tend to tighten it up and take care of the ball. Steve, how much fun is it playing a high energy team like this? Because it looks like almost a young version of the, the Spurs. Their coach I know is a yeah. Popovich acolyte. Is it, is it, is it, it's a challenge, but it's also fun? It was really it was it was impressive to watch their young talent and the movement. They play together really well. Um, they lead the league in, in passes per game. Um, you know they do a great job of moving the ball. Brett uh, has a similar philosophy as as me. We, you know, no coincidence. We both, you know, played or worked under Popovich, and uh, so we've been influenced by by Pop quite a bit. But uh, I like their team. It's a good young team, a lot of talent, and uh, you know things are looking looking bright for them. Kind of following up on that, where do you think they're at? You know, in in the process, and and what are your what are your biggest takeaways about the state of that team right now? Well, the main thing they just have to trust the process. That's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't really look at you know where they are on the on the scale. I just know that you know they're they're healthier, and and that's the biggest thing. It's you can't win in this league unless you've got you know healthy uh, talent and. Um, they're finally healthy, and they've added some nice pieces. Um, you know, Reddick's really great for them because he generates a lot of movement and, and uh, puts a lot of pressure on the defense in the half court. And uh, so it's just good to see their, their young guys healthy and out there. And hopefully, Fultz will be back soon. And uh, but yeah, they're they're coming along. Steve, Steph went in the locker room for that brief moment in the second, early in the second quarter. Uh, what, what did they check out on? I think it was a, a bruised uh, quad. Same thing that KD had. Uh, the uh, two games ago, uh, just a knee to the thigh, which is pretty painful, and I'm sure he'll feel it more tomorrow. Steve, uh, another strong performance from Kayvon Looney. I know you were high on him going into the season, but he's he surprised you at all with his play? He, he hasn't surprised me with his play because we knew he um, he knew how to play and he could play. What surprised me is just um, you know the fact that he came in. 20 pounds lighter and healthy. I mean, it's the first time he's been healthy, and, and uh, that was the biggest question mark with Loon after two hip surgeries uh, first two years. And uh, I'm just so happy for him because he's earned this. He's worked so hard, and he's such a good good guy and a and, um, good young player. But he's been really good for us. I mean, he especially the way the, the modern game is played, you know, with um, the, our big guys have to be able to switch and get out on the perimeter and get back and protect the paint. And, he does all that. He's a very instinctive player. Um, not the most athletic guy, so he's not going to wow you with uh, with his leaping ability, but he's always in the right spot. He's a really, really bright player. Steve, what, what can you say about just the contributions over here? Other way, front. Oh, hey. sorry, John. <laughs> uh, of JaVale in the first half and Nick Young in that in yeah. that third quarter, it seems like when, when they get it going, everybody in the building gets it going, and, and you guys can get on a, on a run. JaVale's been really good uh, the last – well, during this streak, he's brought tremendous energy, six straight wins, and uh, it's not a coincidence we're getting really good minutes from him. And I'm thrilled for Nick because, um, you know, the early part of the season was a real struggle for him, but it, it seems like he's getting more in tune – with what we're doing, he's, um, you know, and, I, and I'm getting more comfortable how to play him, how to use him, and um, 
I think he's starting to, to settle in now. He was he was great tonight. He's a plus 22 in, in 21 minutes. and Obviously, knocked down his shots, but it's much more than that. It's just making good decisions and, and defending well, and I thought he did that. Hey, Steve, with how efficient Kevin was tonight and just this season, do you see a 50-40-90 as a realistic goal for him? Um, sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh the coaches and I talk about it all the time. We gotta get KD to fifty, forty, ninety. So that's your job. I don't I don't pay attention to the to the numbers, but yeah, he's pretty awesome. So it's a possibility. What do you think's gone into his efficiency overall though? He's always been an efficient player. I think with Kevin, he values efficiency um over everything. Um he's a very conscientious human being and so um he's not a guy who necessarily wants to go get 50. I think he'd much rather get 30 points on, you know, 15 shots than uh, get 50 points on, you know, 35 shots. That's kind of his m mindset and his mentality. I think it's one of the reasons he came here is he wanted to be with a group of players who were, you know, kind of like-minded in that regard in terms of uh, playing an efficient style. And, and um, he's been tremendous. I mean, it's, it's, it's not just his shooting and scoring, but everything he does for us all around. Steve, did, did you look at Draymond's line already and just another night where he's doing something, yeah. a little of everything? Yeah, a little of everything. That's uh, kind of a standard night um, for Draymond. Um, it's uh, five block shots and, and, you know, included in there. It's just amazing. But um, I think he's been one of the keys. You know, we were struggling early in the season and, and um, it's no coincidence that when Draymond plays well, we, we play well. And he's been tremendous for um, really during this whole streak. It was a lot of fun to watch the uh, the, four, the big four play a, a good number of minutes together tonight. Was that by design, or I, I imagine for Philadelphia it was quite a learning experience? But I mean, is that something that just evolved, or how did that work out? Um, just just happened. It wasn't wasn't a plan. It just happened. All right. Thank you. Great. Thank you.